eating crow and eating humble pie. They basically mean the same thing, to acknowledge an embarrassing error. Both cliches date back from the early 19th century. Eating crow. There's a story in the Atlanta Constitution in 1888 by Charles Funk that goes like this. In the War of 1812, at the end of a truce, an American went hunting and ended up behind enemy lines, where he shot a crow. He was caught by an unarmed British officer who complimented him on his good shooting and somehow persuaded him to hand over his gun. Then the British officer pointed the gun at the American soldier and said as punishment for trespassing, you now have to take a bite out of that crow. The American obeyed. Then the British officer turned the gun back to the American. The American pointed the gun at the British officer and made him eat the rest of the bird. Humble pie. The word humble is actually a corruption of the word umbles, which is dialect for the heart, the liver, and the entrails of a deer. Whenever a rich person had a deer hunt, these parts were fed to the beaters and the servants. Eat like a bird or eat like a horse. To eat like a bird means you don't eat a lot. However, many birds have been known to eat their own weight in food every day. The phrase to eat like a bird dates back to the 20th century. To eat like a horse means to eat a lot. The cliche to eat like a horse dates back to the 18th century. To have one's cake and eat it too basically means you can't have it both ways. And that cliche is kind of weird to me because whenever I have cake, I usually eat it. To eat one's heart out. Originally, it meant to worry excessively. Nowadays, it's used as a boastful saying to invoke jealousy. This version was popularized by the television show Laugh-In. To eat one's hat. This means you're willing to eat your own headgear if a certain event or statement were to occur. Usually that event or statement is very remote. To eat one's words. Basically this means to be forced to retract a statement. This first appeared in the 16th century in a tract by John Calvin on Psalm 62, quote, God eateth not his word when he hath spoken. Eating out of somebody's hand, being docile and submissive, sort of like a tamed animal. This dates back from the early 20th century. To eat someone out of house and home means to consume a great deal of food. This expression is at least 2,000 years old. The Alexandrian philosopher Philo, in his work, do Agricultura used it in 40 AD. Shakespeare has also used it in Henry the Sixth, Part Two.